hi and welcome to little things that are improving my life at the moment. So I've shared on my Instagram and on this channel that I've lost a lot of my hair through illness and when I say that it's always funny because people are like what are you talking about you've lost a lot of hair you have a lot of hair and I do but I've also lost a lot so it's most noticeable at the top of my head and that's either with bald patches or there is just no like volume at the top of my head that's supposed to be there. So the solution I've found that's making my life a lot better is using hair bands. This was one of the first ones I bought and I actually love this one. It's from, <laughs> it's from a random site. Um, so I didn't know how it was gonna come and actually having tried quite a few headbands now, I really appreciate how good that one is. Like it's not tight on your head, it doesn't cause headaches. What I love about these is that they're so easy to put on and they hide bald spots, but they also like create volume on your head. And especially because I love how um, glasses look on my head because again, they create that volume, they hide the bald spots very well. Um, but most of the time I do need to wear my glasses and I don't have the energy to put in contacts. This month I wore contacts twice, last month I don't think I wore contacts at all so I don't wear them very often, I don't have the energy for it very often so the headband is just the easiest solution. I also was booked in to see a wig and hair specialist to get a topper which is like a wig like for the top of your head um, but I wasn't well enough to make it to that appointment and so I, I couldn't go to that and um, these have actually been a surprisingly good solution for me. The next thing that's been making my life easier and better is this bottle and jar opener. I should have got one years ago, like there's a few like disability creators who talk about this a lot and I always thought to myself I'm going to dislocate my hands even with that and like I'm going to be weak even with that and I was right, however I dislocate so much less that this is worth having. So yeah, it's not like, it's not magic because my hands still dislocate with it and I can't open every jar, like quite often I am still too weak even with this. However, it has made it so much better. I also, here I was talking about the electrolytes I have, but I've decided to shorten it. And I was, I was at a point where I was really struggling to open those bottles. I couldn't do the flip top um, and I couldn't unscrew it either. And this has meant that I can do it a lot more easily than before. As I say, it's not like, it doesn't stop my dislocation sadly, but it does make them a lot better. And as I was saying, this is great because it's just one tool and it does jars, bottles, you know, a lot of things. It also has that and um, I'm hoping someone in the comments will tell us what this is for. Is it, is it a ring pull? Although it seems a bit small, but is that to, like a ring pull? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I actually have bought like a um, a separate one for opening like the ring tab things but yeah I spotted that just now and was like oh is that what that is? Oh hi so I'm not sure I'm going to slot this in um, but I did want to mention something that's been making my life better was an intention I set at the start of the year so every new year's I set some like goals and intentions and things to be mindful of and one that I set this year was I want to be mindful that if I don't reach my goals, I want to know why not. And I want to not blame myself for things I can't, like, are not in my, sorry, I've got brain fog, what am I trying to say? Things I can't control. I'm not blaming myself on that anymore. So for example, I talk about crafting in this video, like arts and crafts. I could say that was like a weird thing for me to say because I've only done like, <laughs> I've only spent like maybe three days of the year crafting and we've had hundreds of days this year. So, you know, I'm not doing this often. I wish I was doing it more, but I'm not going to feel guilty about it because there's reasons that I can't do it more. Same with reading books. I used to read hundreds of books when I was younger. This year, I've only read, I think, one and a half and we're like halfway into the year. But I'm not going to be cross at myself because I know the reasons why. And even though it was my intention and my goal to read more, I'm not mad at myself because I know why I haven't done it. And I also know why I haven't done it in the past either. And this can apply to anything. So if you want to go to bed earlier, if you want to read more, if you want to bake more, 
this tip is not about doing those things. It's about like not blaming yourself when you can't meet those expectations and you can't do those things that you want to do. So for example, if you want to go to bed earlier every night, but you keep having things, I don't know, too much work in the daytime, so you physically can't get to bed any earlier, or you're in so much pain, you can't sleep because of the pain and you can't sleep earlier. This thing is about not blaming yourself for that. So for me, for example, I desperately want to read more, not even just for fun, but even to do with the fact that I'm a writer. And as you know, I'm, I write books, <laughs> which you will be able to read at some point, which will probably be maybe closer than you expect. But anyway, like I really wish I could read more, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I have work meetings like a couple times a month that like really knock me out. I definitely can't be like, I'm not well enough to read on those days. I'm not well enough to read on days that I have a shower. I'm not well enough to read on days that my carer is here because I have to instruct her. And like you can see wh where I'm going at. <laughs> There's very few few days or even minutes that I am well enough to read. The only option possibly would would say this five minutes right now. Could I be reading rather than doing this video? Yes, but I want to do the video. <laughs> I want to do the video so you know life is all about decisions and knowing that sometimes we are making the best decisions for ourselves even though the outcome doesn't look how we expect and we're like oh I can't be because I haven't gone to bed earlier I haven't read the book I haven't done the arts and crafts no but you either prioritized other things or there were things that were not in your control and that's what this one is all about. Another thing that's been helping me immensely is a YouTube premium subscription. They are the sponsor for this video and the whole reason I'm back on YouTube right now, I wasn't gonna come back and then they offered me a million pounds to do this video and I said, you know what? Yeah, go on. So, <laughs> no, not really, not, not really at all. So they are not the sponsor of this video. Um, I wish they were. I felt like I could slip that in and now I'm like, no, my audience, I can't. I've said little jokes in the past and um, it doesn't work on my channel. It works on a lot of other channels, but jokes like that don't, don't work on mine. So just like, I'm just clarifying, that was a joke. But anyway, the YouTube premium subscription was something I put off for so long because past me wouldn't have got that. Like past me, or I guess like if I was well, um, I would have been like, no, like money can be better spent elsewhere. <laughs> but at the point I am in my life at the moment, I haven't been to the cinema this year. I haven't been to a restaurant this year, I don't think. Um, I haven't, I don't get takeaways. Like where I'm like bed bound most of the time, I'm not spending like any money on my own entertainment and things that are enjoyable to me. And even things like books I used to read when I was younger, I used to read like 50 books a year or maybe 100 books a year now i'm only reading like two or three books a year so like i'm not spending any money on my own entertainment and my youtube subscription i don't know if it would count as entertainment <laughs> i actually use it as pain relief because noise i've talked about so much noise is so painful to me that i listen to either asmr or white noise pretty much all the time. And if I lived in a very quiet home, I probably wouldn't be as dependent on it. In fact, I know I wouldn't be, but where I am here, I need that buffer. And it's the one thing that makes the noise sensitivity and the pain and illness of that, that little bit better. And having those ads interrupt me and like jolt my body and make me feel sick and be in pain, I realized the YouTube subscription is actually very worth my while to not have that anymore because this is the one thing, like I am using it as like a form of pain relief essentially for that white noise. It's also my entertainment, I guess, because I'm not doing, <laughs> not doing like typical things that people would do for entertainment. And I just realized that even though past me would hate to spend money on that, for present me, it is a good decision. I can't remember what my point, but we'll go into the next one. The next thing I've been doing that's been improving my life is that I'm very aware, I think of myself as having like maybe one better hour in the day and there are things that I wish I could do, certain like 
let's go down the arts and crafts route. I wish I could do arts and crafts, but if I start one and it's not going my way, like either it's causing me pain or something, I am not pushing myself anymore. I mention this one because doing crafts is very common in the chronic illness community. A lot of people are doing that, but I've just realized not all crafts are equal. And just because someone else, just because it's good for someone else doesn't mean it's good for me. One that was disappointing for me was diamond art. Like it's quite a mindless activity in the sense that you're just dotting these little gems with numbers onto the right area and you're just doing that and that's, that's all you're doing. However, I, I didn't even have the energy for that. I didn't have the energy for it and I realised it would be satisfying at the end, but probably not satisfying as the amount of, for me, like work that I was going to put into it. Um, and so I gave up on that. I gave up on an embroidery project, even though I was really good at embroidery when I was younger and I used to really enjoy it. Um, it was hurting my hands too long, it was taking too long to thread a needle and I was just thinking to myself, I don't think the payoff is going to be worth it at this stage in my life and in the past I would have pushed myself to do it because I'd be like, well one, I've got the kit, two, I'm sure it will be worth it. Now I'm just like, no, my life is too short and too limited for me to do anything that I'm not enjoying and realistically I wasn't enjoying a lot of the ones I tried. Um, there are some I'm hoping to get back into. One of them is painting. Um, I wish I could show you some of my paintings. I'll have a look um, from when I was younger. I'd love to get into that. I've not done it for years now. I actually did find my old art book. So this would have been when I was 13 to 14. Um, I chose what to do myself apart from the skull. The skull was just something that we had to do but I actually really like how that turned out so that would be an animal skull of some kind um, and then we made a clay version of that as well and that was my one but I'd like that because it's creative and I'm not just like I don't know dotting a gem somewhere I can actually like be creative and I don't have to have like a million gems to try and like sort and everything like I can just spend if I want to, two minutes, just doing a few brush strokes here and there. For me, that, that's gonna be more manageable. The next thing that's been greatly improving my life is an air purifier. Um, there's a few reasons for this. The main reason I got it was that I'm not able to open my windows most of the time. I mean, I couldn't because of my health, although I have ugh, opened my windows for the first time in a long time recently, and my window, I, I probably shouldn't share this story, but my window opens like this and there's people above and I looked out the window and there was loads of stuff dripping off my window. I think it'd be better that you don't know what it was, but, um, so yeah, I can't open my windows because I'm not well enough to, although the one day in like, I don't know, a few weeks that I did open it, I opened the window and then got covered in stuff badly um anyway i've been really upset about how i can't get fresh air whenever i need to so that's why i wanted the air purifier um and then also with having carers and at the moment nurses coming into my flat um there is a filter you can get that is helpful in preventing or protecting you against covid it's still not like foolproof but it is at least better than nothing I'm, I'm really thinking to myself, gosh, I shouldn't have shared that story about the window, but like, that's the truth of it. <laughs> like I wanted it because I couldn't get any fresh air. And then the other day I actually did manage to open my windows and realised that even if I'm well enough, I still can't because in the building I live in, my windows open like this and they are just going to get wrecked. <laughs> I really don't know if I should include that. But anyway, this air purifier is helpful at protecting against COVID. And especially in the UK, we have community nurses. So I've had community nurses coming out to me for a couple of weeks for um, some things that needed to be treated that were quite urgent. Um, and you can literally wake up and they will be like in your bedroom. And uh, so even if I wanted to ask them to put on a mask, like before I know it, they're already in my room. So, <laughs> that they let themselves into your into your place and into your bedroom 
Um, and so, yeah, if COVID is like a concern for you, the air purifier is good for that. If like me, you weren't well enough to open your windows, the air purifier is good for that also. And then I guess in the circumstance that I found out recently where you can't open your windows for other reasons, <laughs> I'm sure it's good for that as well. So I'm so like, I'm so happy and thankful to have that air purifier. That is thanks as well to a few of my friends on Instagram have helped me get that. I got an expensive one that doesn't need the filter to be changed because you actually have to change the filter every six months on most of them. And so I got one that the filter lasts for several years. So it was a very like expensive outright cost, but actually it's gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. And also it's gonna be easier to maintain because I'm not gonna have to <laughs> change the filters. That was a long time coming, that hiccup heave. I could feel that for a very long time. I could feel that I was even like looking at the camera less because I was like trying to distract myself for it and not let it happen, but it is what it is. 